Well, the cabin's coming Wednesday morning. I gotta bring a little bit more gravel in. I got a whole no dump, another dump truck loaded gravel. So fill the spot right over there. It went from two, three inches here, all the way to a foot over there. Didn't realize it was it was sloped downhill. So I gotta get another load. Those are my solar panels. I got a few updates, they're all done. I'm gonna be hooking them up next week, hopefully. I gotta run a trench all the way across to there, inside the shipping container, right over there. And then uh, run the electricity through it. I gotta get a box outside. I leveled this off quite a bit yesterday. Cleaned it up. Gotta push this back a little bit more, just so that the, um, the water, if it rains, whatever it is, when it rains, if it ever rains, because I just saw a pond down the road, and it was dry. So this is, we got a load of um, half of the building material for the garage. It's a steel garage, 40 by 40. The sawmill is going to be on one end. The shipping container is going to be on the other end. And it's going to be for um, all the mechanical shipping containers. have all the mechanicals and all the, all, the, all the electricity in it. So my son, this is, he bought, we got all these steel, steel piers here. We have to put them in the ground. He's got all the roofing right there. And it's just flashing and all that soffit stuff. And those are the four by fours. When I make them, four by fours, three two by sixes, and then they together. That's not what I saw the other day, which I was shocked to see. Finger grooves, finger joints. the holes he puts those steel piers in right sorry about putting that steel piers in there he's gonna put these in the bottom of the hole so that the, the piers won't sink anymore and uh that'd be good so we put six of those piers those steel uh, cement piers over here yesterday November 6th, Sunday, November 6th, 7th, I don't I have no idea. But we put these piers in the ground yesterday in just like two or three hours. Crazy. How fast those were compared to mine. I've got them all set I'm going that way. They're somewhat lined up straight. He said it doesn't matter. He's a smart one, so he knows. He knows what they gotta do. So these are pretty much lined. These are pretty much in line. Yeah. Pretty good, see? Stick around there, see? That's pretty good. Well we couldn't bury these any deeper. We had shale. <laughs> it's hard. We dug with this thing with the post hole digger for about three hours. Yeah. And then uh, this is it. This is a property. Well, good property. There's an Amish farm way over there. That's all we can see. They don't make any noise. They're quiet. We got a field way over there. That's one of ours. And uh, yeah. This is our property. Beautiful, beautiful place. Let me take a brush hog. Brush hog all of this, clean it up in the springtime. I gotta buy a brush hog. And there's a road. It goes over to uh, the road, goes this way over to the fields. There's another big field way over there. We're in the woods. This is what we do. We're on over here. I found a copperhead yesterday. Baby copperhead stick. Yeah, it was um uh, it was here. Oh, oh, by the way, that's what I was going through. Tomorrow hopefully.
hopefully he shows up. I can see the trench from there. It's over here, there. Or cable from solar panel. This is the machine we rented yesterday. my videos subscribe um, like and share all right and uh, hey everybody have a great day it's cool life is good be happy bye now